Welcome to the John Boy Media Trivia Show, episode number one, and we are joined by 2018 MVP Christian Yelich. Christian, how you doing? Great. How are you guys? We're doing well. We're excited. Are you good at trivia? Uh, sometime. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah. yeah. Trivia is... I think I'll be good about myself. Trivia about myself, I should be able to nail that. Some athletes have crazy recall about their own games and crazy memories, so... Uh, we'll we'll put it to the test. Do you have photographic memory? I'm actually usually pretty good about in-game recall, like especially about my own career. So okay. I've always thought that, but I, I I think we're about to find out. All right, all right. How it works is the first round is five questions about Christian's own career. Second round, Jeopardy style with four categories, and third round is the big question at the end. If you get seven points, Yelly, we will be eating Miss Bong fish sausage Add. cake. Sounds amazing. Um, we really don't know what it is. It's we don't really know what it is. Fish sausage like a cake. Hot dog? We don't know if it's a meat or they, a cake. They come in a wrapper. It's, so where do you find? Where do you guys find those at? The Korean market by my house. Oh, so we so, can send you some. Yeah, if it's good. If you <laughs> well, get, I, hopefully I get seven right, and then you can tell me if they're good or not. So. Yes, Done. and then if you then we'll be not, but we'll, <laughs> we'll send you. All right, here we go. Question number one. In the 2016 season, Giancarlo Stanton led the Marlins in home runs with 27. You had the third most on that team with 21. Who had the second most home runs on the 2016 Marlins? Oh, who's on the 2016 Marlins? I don't think it was. I don't think Ozuna had the second most. Maybe it's either Ozuna, Real Muto, or Bohr. One of those three. Um. I think Ozuna. I think Ozuna spent some time in the minors that year, so I don't know if it was him, but he came back pretty hard. He came back and did pretty well. I think Bohr. I'm trying to remember if Bohr debuted in '15 or '16. We're all around. This is about my own career. This isn't about. <laughs> Well, you were chasing him down. Me. You were chasing him yeah, down I for a home run. I 21 homers that season. I'm going to go. Trust it. I want to say Ozuna, but I'm going to go Boar. <sighs> so Ozuna. Ozuna? Yeah. You had it. He had 23. He was pretty he spread out. Yeah, he had 23. You had 21. So at the end of the season, there, you guys were in a little race. Damn. I should have gone Ozuna. I knew it. You That's did know point. it. It was your gut instinct. I did know. Yeah, I did know. I was like, I wanted to say it, but I, I knew he got he got sent down for like a month that season. I think maybe it was fifteen though. I'm not oh, sure. I think he got sent down. I think he got sent down in fifteen. Okay, it's a hell uh, of a squad those Marlins teams. Well, we could swing it a little bit. We lied about the first question being about you, but this one is in fact <laughs> about you. The pitcher you have the most hits off of is Jacob Degrom. Nice little flex. Right there by you. Of those 15 hits, how many went for extra bases? <laughs> Not a lot. Um, I think my only extra base hits are emergency, two strike. Oh my God, it's not a slider. It's a 100 mile an hour fastball right down the chalk on the third baseline. Um, what those count as doubles? I don't think I have any triples or homers off of them. I think uh, that's correct. Yeah, I think I have, it's been like three or four years since I faced them too, since I got traded, I haven't, uh, I faced them, we faced them in 19, but no extra base hits that day. Uh, I think two. Two is correct. Correct. Two. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Your numbers two against emergency them are doubles. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, those are deceptive. Like they say I have good numbers off Kershaw too, but if you look up, if you pull up the actual hits. You know, there are a lot of <laughs> hey, singles. singles. I think a count. lot of them are like that, too. Those count, man. I'll, ta- I'll take them every day. Of the week. I'll take, I'm not complaining about them, but <laughs> don't let the, they're not lasers all over the field. DeGrom ain't happy about them, I'll tell you that. All yeah. right, you're one for two. In 2018 and 2019, you had a one dot OPS. Since 2010, only five other players besides you have two or more seasons with a one dot OPS. Name two of those players. It's also not about you. So we wrote, you know, so yeah, we're, but we're, we're just trying to flex here. Not a lot of people have done it. Two other players that have had two seasons 
with a one dot blah 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 OPS since 2010. So not, it doesn't have to be consecutive, or just no, like it doesn't two have to total be. Doesn't not have to, okay. Not everyone can well, do it consecutive like you. Uh, well, trout's pretty easy, so that's one, right? That's the easy one. Yeah, they're actually. Then, you'll get them. You'll get them. Pretty easy. Uh, is Miguel Cabrera another one? Boom! There you go. Dang. Yeah. That was like the first two. Vado, Harper, and JD Martinez also have have it. Uh, I was gonna go Vado next because he always has like a seven hundred on base percentage. His stats are gross, man. I wanted oh, to yeah. ask you about those two seasons, MVP and then second MVP. You know, the second year you led in every slash line. The first year you led in every slash line besides on base percentage. I didn't even look this up. I wanted to know if you know, like, who beat you in on base percentage. Would you have known that? In 19 or 18? Your MVP 19. season, I believe. In 18? Yeah. Probably probably Votto. I, was, that's what, I didn't look it up. We skipped that one, but I was just I was like, Damn. I don't know. I, I don't know. I led in 19, though. Yeah, in one of those years, you let in all of them. 19. Is, huh. is Votto cool? You get to first base in a Cincy game, and are you guys oh, yucking yeah. it up? Yeah. Oh, okay. it's, the, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. You got to get him on here. Okay. Yeah. Done. Oh, Good yeah. get. It's right. entertaining for sure. He's, he's one of the, the – he's he might be one of my favorite guys. He might be my favorite guy. He's definitely one of my favorites, but – I don't know. Him and Freddie Freeman are pretty pretty high on the list of uh, first base conversation in the league. They're big time yuckers. Um, oh yeah. All right. So Two what for do we? Three. Two for three. Two for three. <laughs> Not a bad day at the office. <laughs> Question four. <laughs> You've seen two hundred and twenty three zero pitches in your career. You've swung at a three zero pitch only seven times. One of those seven swings resulted in a home run. Can you give us any details about the 3 0 homer? Yeah. It went, went to the opposite field. It was against the Royals. Uh, Junis was pitching. I think that's how you say his name, right? Yep. Yep. And the reason it went to the opposite field, because it was 3 0, and I was like, and he's like, he got a good sinker. And I was thinking, like, all right. For some reason, I was like, I'm, I was hitting third for the first time all season that year, and Bronny was at second base. So a guy in scoring position, 3-0, I was like, I'm going to swing here. But I'm not going to be an asshole about it and try and go pull side homer and roll over this 3-0 <laughs> two-seamer to second base. So I'm going to really make sure I stay on it. And I stayed on it a little too much, but it ended up being a homer. And everybody came back. was like, how did you hit a 3-0 homer to the opposite field? And I was like, well, I was trying not to roll it over to second or, or first <laughs> on the sinker that was about to come and just accidentally hit it over the fence to way left field. That was beautiful. Yeah, we had Junis, Braun on second. Do you know slider? Was it a slider? It was a 90-mile-per-hour slider. Yeah. No, it was a, a two-seamer. Two-seamer? Two-seamer. Yeah, yeah two-seamer. They're supposed to vaunt live. They blew it. And that's fine. Okay, only now seven we're swings. Yeah, you're three for four now. The, of the seven swings, you only swung and missed at one three zero pitch. Do you, do you remember that detail? This is the not fun version of this question. Yeah, it was a three zero slider from a lefty on the Cardinals. I, I don't know if it might have been Webb, maybe that was pitching. And I because I remember telling, I remember laughing about it with uh, with Yachty. And then I swung at the next three one slider and capped it, but it was into the shift, and I got a single out of it. Hell oh, yeah! Pitch. The one, the one I had, it was Granky who threw you like it was a three zero. Oh, he threw me a he threw me a three zero uh, like split or change up too. So I just, swung twice. I swung twice three zero. Just a stuff. rude three zero pitch from Granky there. Just called your bluff. Yeah, but I should have known that one was. I should have known that one was going to happen too. Like I should have not swung at that one, but I, I couldn't help it and I decided to gamble and see what happened, but it didn't work out. All right, number. I would have walked. I would have walked. <laughs> you would have walked. Out on the next, and I got out on the next pitch. Damn, Ain't crazy. that it? Uh, all right. But sometimes. Question number five: You have faced eight pitchers with Wood in their last name. W O O D. Anywhere. Can you name four of them? Uh, Alex. Yes. Um. I faced seven guys with the last name Wood. Eight. No, not the Eight. last name Wood. Wood is in their last in name. In their name. So, like, Woodruff, that counts? Yep, that's two. Okay, so I faced Woodruff. Um, let's see. 
Uh, wasn't there a lefty on the Cubs in like 2013? Fuck, what's his first name? Uh, damn, that's a hard one. It's a what? tough one. He asked me this one and I struggled and I'm a baseball nerd. The, the whole, like, if it was just the last name Wood, it'd be a lot easier with having, like, a Wood <laughs> in your name. Well, there's two others with the last name Just Wood. Really? They're, they're kind of deep cuts. Yeah, though. I don't, yeah. They're from, like, they're, are they, like, way back, though? Like, 13, 2013, 2014? So I think you were on to the Cubs one. There's actually a couple Cubs on here. Hint. Well, uh, I, I know I, I, I faced them my first game ever playing at Wrigley. I, I'm... Why, why can I not think of his name? It's not Travis. It's uh, <laughs> kind of close, isn't it? Or is it Travis? Yeah. Travis Wood. That's three. Travis Wood. Travis yeah. Wood. It is Travis. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So was that three? That's three. I can give you a hint. There's one. Um, a color is involved. Wow. Not like not like not redwood, right? <laughs> not redwood. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn! All of them? How many do I have to name? Just one more. We just need one more. Oh, just one more. You can phone a friend. Get call up someone. Uh, call up a teammate. Hey, you don't need woods in the league. <laughs> Wood. I mean, Woodruff is a good one. That was Woodruff a, was a good that was one. a sneaky one. Yeah. There's also a guy that shares. There's two guys that share first names with us. Whoa! If that helps you get anywhere, that is me more confused. Are those the ones with the the wood? Not just. Is their name just wood or not? Not just wood. <laughs> there's one more just wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Was one of them on the Braves? I mean, Alex Wood was, but did they have another guy that was on the Braves? No. I don't. I don't well, know. This, was one of them on the Reds? Reds. Maybe. Um, looks like a red? red name. He could have been a Red. the The one that jumps out was another Cubby. The other ones are like kind of deep cuts. It's a hard question. It's the fifth question. It's a hard question. If oh, wood. Is there like a wood ring on there? Or <laughs> wood ring? Wooding? As a wooding? <laughs> wooding. <or? laughs> I think we got a All right, we'll, bu we'll buzz you out. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm out on this one. Jake Woodford? Not familiar. No. Black no chance. Blake Wood? No. James Norwood? Norwood. Yeah, that's the Cub one. Nick Greenwood? Nah. And Tyler Chatwood? Oh. Damn it. I should have known that one. Tyler was the one I I blanked on it before, too. And then it's such a that weird one, question. That one should have been like the easiest one. <laughs> it's, it's an odd question. You don't normally hear it well, phrased, find the wood in this name. Well, thank you. Thank you. This is a That's awesome all right. Question. So three out of five in the it's round one. good first one. round. Good first round. Not, not terrible. All right. Round two, we have four categories for you. You get four questions. You can ask uh, two from the same category or one from each category, however you want to play it. Jake, what are the categories today? Your categories to pick from are Christians, itches, name that hat, and what's that sound? Let's go, what's that sound? Okay. okay. What's that sound? Producer BBD, can you play him the sound? When, uh, it's when someone goes deep in Houston, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could go even even easier than that. Just uh, um, a train. Yeah. Yeah, train. Oh, a train. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. thought that had to be like a baseball thing, but yeah, <laughs> no, they, they no. play that train oh. so I've, heard, I've heard that a couple times. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this trivia is not necessarily baseball related, but yes, train. the train in one Houston. For one. Yes. Do you remember when that guy was asleep and they just zoomed in on him and he was just was sitting tough. in the driver's seat asleep? Just knocked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually do remember that. Yeah. It like went viral, felt bad for him. And then all it's Houston fans were like, hey, don't blame him. It was yeah. a boring Long game. Long day, man. Long day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There you go. You're three, four points now. You can run back. What's that sound? You can go to name that hat, Christians, or itches. Uh, let's go Christians. 
All right. Okay. The religion based on the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. Christianity? Nailed it. Yes. Yeah. Frustrated. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. All right. You can run Christian. That's back. a pretty big Christian. Yeah, that's one that's of the a bigger, big one. most popular yeah. Christians probably. Um, um, what was there one about hats? Yes. About name that hat. hat. All right. Name, name that hat. This is a, Which one are you a good one. This one's probably pretty hard. Yeah. Or you want? No. You're here? Yeah. Okay. He's really trying not to eat that. Can you name what that hat is? Like. Very stylish. Like a fedora? Boom. Fedora. Bang. All right. Whatever you choose now, you're getting the hard version. You got what's this that? This is the thing on the line, right? The, yeah. yeah. Well, what's that sound? We're done with the easy stuff. Itches, Christians, or name that hat. I really wish I nailed that Chatwood question earlier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really want to see you guys eat these things, so I really, okay. I really want to nail this right now. So. Okay. I don't know. I feel like you can make something impossible no matter what I pick. So They're pre-planned, so we can't pivot that much. Mm, let's go itches. All let's right. knock out one from each category. A highly contagious airborne disease that results in a skin rash that forms small blisters which eventually scab over. Damn. I did not go to med school, but... <laughs> I think I know this one though actually it's uh the scab part's the, the clue um highly contagious disease airborne disease that eventually that form blisters that eventually scab over Correct. Is it deadly? No. Mm -hmm. Potentially. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe at times, not anymore. That's kind of a big clue. It's a big clue. Because everybody's vaccinated against it? Ooh, maybe. Is it smallpox? Ooh, thank God. Chicken pox. Not Fuck. smallpox. <laughs> did you get chicken pox or did you, did you get to the vaccine? I because I, I got I, it. I think I got the vaccine, yeah. Yeah. Well, we were like the last age because I think like my little sister I think did, I poxed. didn't get it, but I definitely got it. You got to take a bath in tomato soup and shit like that. All right. No, well, I, hey, I definitely didn't get chicken pox. You got one more question. Let's Round see. three is the big one. If you get it correct, we got to eat the fish cakes. If you get it wrong, fish cakes get pushed for another day. Mm. Jake, what is the third round question now? You have to decide if this story pertains to me or Jake. Who was it that this happened to or who did this? Okay. I'm uh I'm like I'm leaning that one or uh that one? I don't know. What yeah, do are you that thinking? One. Do that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Final question, Jake or Jimmy? Jimmy or Jake? Which one of us got strapped to a gurney and transported off campus and heavily sedated for being way too drunk on campus? <laughs> I mean, that's a coin. That's a coin toss right there. <laughs> it truly is. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, you seem like you've done that multiple times, which is, I mean, that's fine, but. <laughs> I feel like the obvious, I feel like these things are not going to be the obvious ones, but <laughs> strapped to a gurney and go <laughs> <laughs> It's not like a headline you read the next day and you just go like, what the hell happened last night? Like, what party was that at? <laughs> What schools did you both go to? Like, what? 
Same college. Same college. Central, <laughs> Central, Central, Connecticut, Central, Connecticut Central Connecticut State. State. CCSU. Blue Devils. That would have been a good trivia question. I would have never got even another to Central Connecticut. <laughs> Not a lot of we people know that. adding that, yeah. <laughs> D1, whatever. Yeah. Two of the most famous alumni that come out of there? No. <laughs> At this There's point, There's a GM, right? Uh, yeah. What who, uh, GM? Ricky Batalico. Who's the most? We're getting sidetracked, but, like, does Ploof, does Ploof think he's, like, the, the most, like, well-known internet guy over there? No. No. Scared of everyone. He's got juice in Minnesota and Philly spring training. That's it. <laughs> Big Philly spring training guy. Yeah. Huge, Huge Philly spring training yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I watched the I watched the preparation leading up to that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go Jake with this one. Wrong. It was me. Jimmy I was knew. Tr- see, I knew it wasn't gonna be the obvious one. Fish fish sausage goes for another. Yes, I got. I was uh, I was yeah. flipping off cars in the middle of the street. I think it was an '80s uh-huh. party. Dressed in an '80s party, and yeah. then my roommate locked me out of the dorm, so I was sleeping in the hallway. And someone ratted on me, and they called the campus police, who were like, "We need to take you." And I was like, "This is my dorm room. You don't need to take me anywhere." And I put up a fight. Oh, big fight! Kicking big, and screaming. Big fight! And then they were like, "Get on the gurney!" And I jumped on the gurney, and I was like, "You got me!" And I started clapping for him. And then they strapped me down. Then they double strapped me. And then they gave me so many drugs, I don't remember the next three they days. They did one of the hospital scenes where someone's going crazy. They had to sedate him. Yeah. Yeah. Classic misunderstanding. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good one. And they sent my mom the bill. And she said, not paying this because you didn't need to do that. And they were like, okay, fair. Fair's fair. Fair's fair. We, <laughs> so, well, anyway, we got it. Thank you very much for joining. That's the John Boy Media Trivia Show. We dodged the bullet today. We may have to eat them in the future. I do not want to eat them. That was pretty hard, though. That was pre- those were pretty hard questions. You we really gave you a few tough ones. Those 